All right. Uh, you know, first and foremost, we found a way. And the perseverance and the, and the, the ability to finish a football game is so hard in college football. And I tell you guys, week in and week out, it doesn't matter what it looks like at the end as long as you've come away with a W. And just so pleased with our guys, their belief, um, the ability to finish, the sticking together on the sideline, the ups and downs of a football game, um, and just found a way. Was it pretty? No, not by any stretch of the imagination. But I told you guys, I'll take as many ugly wins as they'll let me have and our program have. The guys continue to push in the right direction. Obviously, a ton to clean up. Um, the questions will be, hey, what happened in the second half? Um, we didn't execute like we needed to. And there's a variety of different reasons um, that it didn't go our way like we needed to. But when it's all said and done and the clock strikes zero, the Memphis Tigers had a win. And I'll, I will hang our hat on guys being uh, resilient and, and finding a way. It's the word we used all offseason is find a way to finish. And they did. So many wonderful individual performances. You win as a team. And uh, excited and, and appreciate our fans that showed up. There's a sea of blue in the stands there uh, in this great state of Texas. Credit to University of North Texas. They got a phenomenal program. Coach Morris is going to continue to do a great job there. Um, but we got out of here with a win, and we'll take it. Um, Skates had that early drop to touchdown. And then for him to, to end the game the way he did, just what does that say just about the, the, men, the mental that he had to be? Yeah, well, I, I, you know, when you're dealing with 18 to 24 year old men, people in general, right? And the ebbs and flows of a football game, it's very easy to ride the emotional wave. And I talk to him all the time, right? You can't let your emotions play with you. And so our guys are, it's about being steadfast and just understanding that, man, okay, uh, I, that was the drop, clear touchdown, right drop. And then Jim sitting saying, okay, coach, I, I got it. I'll, I'll get us back. Um, I'll be clear of my focus. I'll find a way. And credit to these guys, credit to every single one of those guys in the locker room and we talk about it all the time, is it's going to take all 60 minutes, in this game it truly did, and having elite focus. And um, the ups and downs in the game, I don't think it's laps and focuses, it's laps of execution. We can call it whatever we need to. Um, but for Joe Skates to go out there and, and have that uh, game-winning catch where he went up there after a, a dropped touchdown pass, he'll be the first to tell you it's just the belief that we all have in him and, and his mindset and approach to being able to handle things when they're not always going our right way. You continue to talk about Seth's mentality uh, in a pressure moment like that. What did you see out of him before he even stepped on the field? If you look to our sideline, and we just took a still shot picture or a video of our guys, you would have no idea that we were going out there for a quote unquote two minute drive, 43 seconds left. You know, down, got needed six points, a needed touchdown um, to win the game. You would have no idea. He's so darn calm. And the great thing about that is, I just told our guys, hey guys, this was the same situation we practiced two Wednesdays ago. Now, two Wednesdays ago, I gave him two timeouts. In the, so um, I think that's, well, I, don't, I can't remember. You know, it's all, like one of the players said, I think they just <laughs> blanked out. But, uh, you know, it's the same stuff we practiced on Wednesdays, two minute situations. We had a very similar one two weeks ago. And he was just so calm about it. And if you watch the entire sideline, the guy's like, okay, here we go, let's go. And Seth continues to play at a very high level. I think without the drops, uh, it's one of his better games he's ever played from a completion-wise, from ball handling, uh, even putting us in the correct situations to run the football, uh, especially early on. Just uh, continue to be pleased with his effort um, and his demeanor throughout the entire game. When you just look at what happened in the second half from the beginning until the last 40 seconds or whatever, what, what did change for you? Yeah, you know, big credit to North Texas. Obviously, um, we struggled to get some stops. And, you know, we were able to run the ball very effectively in the first half. Um, and what happened was you come out and they start playing those safeties a little bit lower and lower. So they run a 3-3-5 defensive structure. Those safeties come playing a little bit lower and lower. And so in the first half, you know, when those tackles and contacts are occurring at five yards, you know, if they make the tackle, maybe it's a six-yard gain. Or if you, you make one miss, it's a touchdown. What was happening is they were making the contact about one yard, two yards. They were coming down, playing the run, and um, and making plays on us. And we weren't able to execute, and, and credit to them. And then that's what allowed us, OK, hey, they're going to play those safeties. Well, let's take the shot, right, the touchdown um, drop to Joe, right? And then some of those other conversions, right? We, we didn't find a way, I think. Um, I'm not going to put it on any individuals, right? We had drops throughout that could have been critical, uh, a fourth down drop, a third down drop, you know, and, and we had to punt. And 
we always got to be able, if we're going to run the ball for uh, eight inches, man, we've got to be able to get it, and that's on me. And we'll find ways to clean that stuff up. Uh, credit to North Texas, but when it's all said and done, you found a way. And we've seen it. This is the same team that came back versus Tulane in a very similar situation. Um, but and we're going to see there's going to be another game just like that in college football today. But uh, credit to them, and we've got to find ways that if we get that type of lead, how do we just squash it? And th look, there was no, hey, we got this in the bag. There was none of that at halftime. I promise you. Our guys were 0-0 zero, zero mindset. They know exactly what happened last week with North Texas. They know what's happened in our past. Um, but we just got to take a deep breath and find ways to, okay, let's not allow the momentum to affect us and continue our focus. You, you touched on it before, but just so you have the lead, you lose it, and then you still have a chance again to get the ball back. What are those conversations like now? Because you've lost the lead, but you're saying, okay, we have 40 seconds left. We know what to do, like you said. What, what, what is that, those moments like on the sideline? Yeah, uh, they're stressful. No. Um, here's the deal, and you guys talk about Seth being calm. I, I don't think anybody sees full blown panic for me, not, not throwing the hat. I think. Yeah, I've got, you know, 150 people looking at me on the sideline to, okay, what we got? Hey, we got this. Let's go. And I think just trying to be a calming and positive influence, just saying, okay, here's a situation. Here's a thought process, talking about situational football. Um, and I think that's so important, you know, for us uh, to be able to have those conversations we've had on a Wednesday and, and the belief that we can go out there and execute. And so, again, full credit to the players. Uh, for going out there. And the assistant coaches do such a great job. Uh, I'm fortunate just to be uh, around so many wonderful people. And we, and we found a way. But the conversations we had today were the exact same we have on a, a typical Wednesday practice. That's why we have to continue to prepare and practice at a high level. So when it comes Saturday in a, a stressful situation to go find a way to win a football game, we're all like, OK, here we go. I know you probably aren't going to give too many specifics, but the decision to, for that play call that, that was on the touchdown, what went into that play call? Well, you know, credit to Coach Cramsey. He does a phenomenal job. Um, we saw the way that the safeties were rotating. We saw what we could take advantage of. Um, the offensive line protected. Uh, we had different concepts that we, you know, we, we prepare all the time. And you try to study two-minute situations. Uh, what kind of defense are they playing? You look at some of their games throughout the season. Obviously, a new staff. Um, you know, their defense coordinator came from Iowa State. So we said, OK, what do they do in two-minute situations here? That's all prep. Um, and we prepare for that throughout the week. And, uh, but, you know, we always have a menu of situational football. Okay, what is it, right? It's not always just calling fast plays. It's, okay, where can we attack those things? So um, it was planned. You know, we go through, okay, here's our menu on our call sheet, and let's go out there and call, and, and credit to the guys for executing. And then obviously you had to shuffle some guys on the offensive line. I mean, what did you think of the way that some of those individual guys responded playing different positions? Yeah, I mean, you look at Xavier Hill, got the start at left guard. And Terrence McClain getting the start at right tackle. Um, those guys did pretty darn well. I mean, anytime you can run the ball like we did, even though it wasn't as effective as we wanted, I thought they did a good job of protecting. Um, quite pleased with their effort, right? We even saw Mitchell Gildehouse go in on some, uh, a name that probably many of our fans don't recognize, but he went out there and did a nice job. So uh, I don't want to rotate a bunch of alignment, um, but uh, pleased with those guys' effort, and uh, I, I was proud of the offensive line today. Yeah, can someone share a statistics with me? Uh, 17 carries, 169 yards, two touchdowns, five catches, 100 yards. So a 269-yard game? Yeah. Let's call it what it is, pretty damn special. You know, I don't care, first half, second play, what, I mean, phenomenal job. I mean, what, a, what, a, what an effort by Blake Watson to be able to do that. I mean, that's... Uh, he continues to do it at a high level. And guess what? You know what I was pleased with? Sutton Smith. I mean, you saw what he was able to do. And then Brandon Thomas. I mean, it's so it, what Blake Watson, phenomenal performance. What a great individual performance. Great job by the wide receivers blocking tight ends. The, the quarterback putting us in the right situation, the, you know, all together the O-line. But and then you go out and watch what Sutton Smith said. We'll do it at a high level. Man, it makes you feel like, OK, you got a chance. And, you know, Sutton broke some runs, all that stuff. we got to find ways. We, we keep getting down to that darn six-inch line. I don't know what it is. <laughs> We've got to find a way to get in. And then Brandon Thomas, obviously, uh, stepped up. But, you know, there's things of improvement. But uh, quite pleased with, obviously, Blake's effort. The fourth down decision before the last drive, I mean, they clear pass. Just what, what, you, what were you thinking that kick? Should we go for what was that decision? Yeah, I mean, you, you, 
So you look at, I look at a time chart all the time, right? And okay, hey, if we punt, what, how much time's left? You know, wh where are we at with the situation? If we get the first down, um, do we turn into what we call, you know, take, you know, go down, first down, go down? You guys have heard it in, in NFL's no miles, all those things, situational football. Um, yeah, at that point, you're also talking like you guys asked earlier in the week, the conversations with the defense court, like, hey, I'm going to be more aggressive here to go for it. And, um, you know, I thought it was a, a decent play call, and we just got to execute it. Uh, you know, if it's a catch, maybe we're not all sitting here, um, maybe a few more years left on our lives, but it, it, we didn't execute it. And uh, our defense, you know, obviously they went down and drove, but we found a way at the end. That's all that matters. How do you kind of, there's so much from this game, like, we're just talking about things after the first half, which is hard to yeah. remember. How do you, like, take all that, compartmentalize it, and use it moving forward? It, 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 what I love, and I've, I've been able to say this week after weekends, fun, it's, e you know, it's easy to point at it in losses, right, all the flaws. The, the, the flaws should always be pointed out. It, that's the easiest thing to do for everybody. And, and me as a head coach, you guys and, uh, in the media world, rightfully so. Um, and wins. I believe as a head coach, it's even more um, accessible, even easier for me to point out the mistakes we made. And so we're going to, I'm always, man, I'm happy with the win. I will never take, uh, you know, never lose credit of how hard they are to win games in college football. Be six and two, and I'm just so proud of those guys, right? I'll never take away um, the importance of that. But what I'll be able to do now is I'll be able to go back and I'll say, guys, look here, this is not good enough. Look here, this is not good enough. This is not our And our guys in a win are so much more like, okay, what else? Tell me more. And that's what I love about this group is they're going to be so hungry to say, okay, give me more. I guarantee you on the plane ride home, right, there'll be guys come up, hey, co coach, what do you think? Or I'll like show them, I'll go nudge them, and they're going to be, they're just so hungry to continue to get better. And that's what's so much fun about this group. That's why I told you guys, it, all I can ever show you guys and the country gets to see is on Saturdays. But, man, this is a special group. Regardless, I don't, I don't know how many games we're going to win. All we care about is being 1-0 each week. And, and I've told you all long ago, is this, when you say specials, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen week in and week out. Uh, but these guys just, they care so damn much. And this day and age with the way the portal works, with the turnover, um, staff change, all those things, we got a group of guys that believe and that will fight for each other. And... Uh, that's all I could ever ask for, and it's my job to get them improving week in and week out. I know you don't, you don't look at past years, this year, this year, but you've had players on this team who have been through these moments, blown leads and everything. Do you think that experience has kind of helped them be prepared for today? <laughs> I think so. It's not necessarily the preparation. You know, we didn't need the blowout, uh, the the come from behind win from Houston as a reminder. Um, but maybe it did make me a better coach. Maybe it made our players that are part of this roster a better understanding. And I think, and, I, and like I said, I think it is a more mature team um, and finding a way. And, and so, and, you know, hopefully we've all improved from previous seasons. Right? If I'm the same head coach I was last season, shame on me. If, if Seth Hennig is the same quarterback, if all of us, right, are the same, then shame on us. So we've all grown in the right direction. Um, and I, I think hopefully it's showing by the results, finding a way, right, whether it's recovering alongside versus Boise, right, the, the end of the Navy game, this game. Uh, and so on and so on, right? I mean, um, you yeah, know, there's games, there's two play calls versus Missouri. I wish we had back, and maybe it's a different game. Um, and so all those things, but I think you're seeing the growth of the team from past years, Frank, and I, I'm just pleased uh, that they, they continue to understand, mature, and they're going to be hungry to continue to find out and go away uh, to be one or next week.